Greetings my kindreds, welcome back to another vlog. It's currently Tuesday, we're starting this vlog off kind of sort of in the middle of the week because I don't have like my vlogging routine down pack yet. Um, today we got a lot of things to do actually, so I'm a little flustered right now. Um, Nalapu is not feeling well, I don't know what's going on with her leg, but she had like stretched the other day and screamed. So I'm like, oh, and ever since then she's been like very sensitive about her leg. So I have to take Nalapu to the vet and see like what's going on with my baby because that right there already has my anxiety on 10. I had also ordered me some Fajas. Y'all know I'm getting my procedure done on Monday. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous, but I'm like so excited. So I had ordered me some Fajas. I don't know why I thought that I could fit extra small. I tried that for her own. I said, oh no, baby. It won't even like clip in the front. So I had like emailed the company and, and asked them if I could like return it and uh you know get a bigger size. So I have to actually I'm gonna ask them for a medium because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to fit the boards and phones and stuff in my file. Um, if it's like that darn tight, like I couldn't even clip it. So I'm gonna ask them for a medium. So I have to actually stop by the post office and return that stuff. Um, but before I do that, I am going to go to the laundromat, drop off my laundry, because I don't have time to be sitting at the laundromat right now. So I'm going to drop off my laundry and have them take care of it. Go to the post office, take Nalapu to the vet. After I take Nalapu to the vet, maybe have to drop her off. I don't know. I'm going to go to the VA because... I need some more lab work done for my procedure. I had already went to the VA to get some lab work done and um, I guess they forgot one specific test. So I have to go get that specific specific test done and have it like expedited because the doctor's office in Miami, Florida need my results ASAP. Um, but I also have to stop by the hair store because I have two wigs to work on today that is due by tomorrow. Um, I also, what's today, Tuesday? So great, I only have one class today. Before I come home, I'm going to stop by U-Haul um, to get some boxes because, baby, we're going to start packing because we are moving. I already saved my Amazon boxes. It's not to be lit. It's like seriously about to be lit. I'm like super excited. You ready, baby? Look at my baby. My baby got a haircut yesterday. I told them to not cut my baby face. And they cut my baby face. She had a teddy bear like haircut in the face. Um, but when I came back, I was like, my baby ain't got no hair. But it's okay. She's so cute. I know mama. She think I'm leaving her. But baby, I'm not leaving you. I'm not going to leave you, mama bear. Alright, so I went to the post office. I went to drop off my laundry. I went to Petsmart thinking that they would take care of Nala, but Banfield is with like is at that pet smart and they're not taking any new pets, which is like very annoying. So I ended up going to like an emergency clinic for dogs that also wasn't taking walk-ins. It's a walk-in clinic, but they're not taking walk-ins. So I had to drop Nala off there. And they said it would be a few hours before the doctor could actually see her. So that was like very sad to me because when I left, they called me, you know, for like uh, background information on Nala and stuff like that. But I hear my baby in the background crying, like having a fit. And I'm like, oh, I done left my baby with these people. I just felt so bad. So she's there. I had left her there at like 11 something. It's currently two o'clock. They still haven't called me. So I'm just like, that has my anxiety again on like 100. Um, I went to the VA, got my lab work done. Um, they're gonna fax it over to the doctor in Miami tomorrow, which is great. And I have to go all the way back to the city to do Shez's hair before her dinner. So I'm about to go ahead and like rush home, get my things go to the city do her hair hopefully by the time I'm done her hair um, they'll be calling me about Nala just crossing fingers and then I have to go back home I have to go to the hair store go back home and work I'm gonna be working all night so that's my day-to-day -day, baby we got a lot going on 
Um, I didn't obviously take my camera everywhere because, um, you know, government property and stuff. But, yeah, let me stop playing and hurry up and get my butt home so Anto before Antonio have a fit. And I'm hungry, so I'm like hangry right now. Like when we first met Oh, I don't care It's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move How to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say Damn And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do I won't do for your body so give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love I can't fake it when I'm with you, my legs go weak, hey. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, hey. This fit plan is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love Won't you love me too? Um, right now so today's Thursday I'm going to DC um, to celebrate a mutual friend's birthday that's super exciting and then on Friday we're going me and Nala are going to Virginia she's going to spend time with her grandparents while I am <laughs> getting reconstructed or whatnot so yeah Nala Poo you ready baby my mama ready that I'm just the cutest little thing in the world that I'm just the cutest little thing in the world. I had stopped by the uh, smoke shack down the street from my house to get birthday girl hookah. She had DM me and she was like, bring your hookah. Girl, I'm not bringing my hookah all the way to Virginia. My hookah stays in the house. So I was like, let me just go. That's perfect that she DM me that because I was like, I don't know what to get this girl for her birthday. So I just went to the smoke shack, got her a cute little hookah, some coal. Um, I had bought uh, uh, tobacco list like no tobacco like no nicotine no tobacco um flavor so hopefully that's okay with her because I can't smoke no tobacco because you know I see we about to be reconstructed on Monday so yeah but um and it was um it was a good price too it's a cute little look I like it so now I'm about to go get my car rinsed off and then we're gonna get some food because I'm hungry and then we're gonna hop on our food <laughs> Nala you don't you want to say hi no, she tired. She literally be sitting in my lap just like this the entire drive. I drive all the way to Virginia for five hours and this girl sits in my lap or she either hanging out the window on this side. Oh, she's so spoiled.
We made it to our destination. I just have to hurry up and get dressed. But I'm very sad right now because I broke my phone. I was trying to, look y'all, it's done. I can't even unlock my phone. It's done. So, yeah, I, no pictures for me tonight, which I'm really sad about that because my outfit. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to try to use somebody else's phone. But I need to hurry up and get dressed. Um, cause it started at 7 and it's already 7.16. So I'm just gonna try to just hurry up. Um, do a little bit of makeup. Nothing crazy. Just take a shower. Just smell good. And, um, yeah. I'm just bummed out right now. So sad. I'm trying to use my tablet as my form of communication. As my device for communication. So I have to let it charge up and, and see how that's gonna work for me. Now who? Mommy's sad. Today is not a good day for me. I know. Damn. See, so I'm having a really tough evening. Um, as you guys know, I broke my phone. Um, I went to iron my only outfit that I brought all the way here. And I stained it with the iron. One, two, it didn't fit. Three, it just looked a hot mess. So I was on the verge of just not going, but I felt bad because I'm staying at her house. So I was like, I kind of got to go. So I was just going to wear this, that dress that you guys saw um, that I got from, I forgot, one boutique in Soho. But that's, that was more like beach attire. So I, I would have looked crazy going out into Washington, D.C. Hey, at one, night. One, one second. I hate their fucking stank ass faces. They're fucking bitches. What? You don't even remember me, do you? No. No? Oh, uh, okay. You from here? No. <laughs> Where you from? I'm from New York. You live here now? No. you to go to Apple because turning the phone in and getting an upgrade will cost me six hundred something dollars because it's four hundred something dollars for returning in a broken phone. And I was like, oh no. So I'm at Apple. I had to have someone Uber me because I can't even Uber on my phone. Um, I went to Apple and they scheduled me an appointment. They had all the people there and I needed to schedule an appointment. So they scheduled an appointment and they told me to come back in an hour. So I figured I'd just go get me some food. That's why I'm at Cheesecake Factory, waiting for them to accept me and give me the phone. We get real fancy. I don't think I ever had melted butter at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Wednesday last time we talked it was on Friday uh, when I was trying to get my phone fixed um, I know it's been like an entire week <laughs> but your girl got some bad news on Friday I'm really sad about that um, I ended up getting a new phone as well like I got 
a new phone and then I got an extra line because I was like I wanted to separate my work from my personal life so I ended up getting a new phone a new number a new iCloud and everything so now I have two phones your girl got two Boom. So I'm going to show you guys in a little bit how you can customize your iPhone because my work iPhone is a hot mess. Like it's a clusterfuck. Like I want to show you guys. Look at all these apps I have on my phone. Literally, I have so many apps on my phone. It's ridiculous. So with my new phone, I was just going to show you guys how you can just clean up your iPhone and customize your, you know, your layout and stuff like that to make your iPhone look cute. So we're gonna do that later. But first and foremost, I wanna tell you guys why the hell I'm still sitting here with no reconstruction done, no nothing. The doctor's office had called me on Friday and was like, they had to postpone my procedure that was scheduled for Monday, this past Monday, um, because my PT INR levels came back too high. So I was like, well, what do you mean they came back too high? Like, what's too high? Like, what are they supposed to be? So she had said, that they would prefer for my levels to be between an 8 and a 12 and it was a 13 so they advised me to this coming friday retake that one specific lab and if my results came back normal that they would reschedule my appointment to a like nearby date so i'm like well sheesh um what can i do to get my levels down she was her response was well, there, I mean, there's nothing that you can do. It's just like your blood. So, you know, it changes, it fluctuates. So, blah, 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 You know, just retake it on Friday and da, da, da. Which don't make no damn sense because if it's nothing that I could do and if it just fluctuates, I can take it on Friday and it come back normal. And by the time my procedure comes, my levels could be high and I still be in the same predicament. Like, that just don't make any sense. But they wouldn't even know. I'd be already on the table and just bleeding the hell out so basically when your pt iron eye levels are higher the more likely you are to like consistently bleed so like if i was to get a cut or something like that compared to someone with normal um pt iron eye levels um i would bleed longer because their blood would clot up faster to stop them from bleeding so i don't i don't have like a blood clot problem i guess mine's was more so like I think my like a blood thinner maybe my blood is thinner or less likely to clot or something like that so I had told them I said I can't get this procedure past July so we just gonna hope that everything works out in my favor so I didn't get to have my procedure on Monday which was very sad for me but it's okay because it's finals week coming up next week and we just gonna focus on school obviously so yeah, you guys know that I wasn't able to get my procedure done earlier this week because of my lab results for my PT, T, PT, INR. So today is Friday and I went back to the VA to get those labs done again so they can be sent over to the surgical facility in Florida and let's crossing fingers that my lab results come back how they want them to come back so that way we can get reconstructed okay <laughs> um so yeah i just did that i'm about to actually go into well i'm already in the city i'm about to go to like soho area and do a little bit of shopping because i need like some accessories and shoes for my trip i'm going to la to celebrate my birthday again um so i'm like super excited i just need some looks so i can take some pictures and get some really cute content um yeah so that's what we want to be doing super excited now who's coming with me to la so we're gonna have some fun Send me the new key, and I'll be right there. Let me come check in my bed. 